OpenShift administrators and DBAs, I have a question. What if your developers could self-serve database credentials? What if they could self-serve not just credentials, but also host names and ports and IDs and anything they might need to connect to different database vendors? What if, while allowing them to self-serve in this way, you could also give your admins some visibility and governance and insight into which applications use what databases? In this video, I'm going to show you how by configuring Red Hat's OpenShift database access. Let's get started. Rhoda admin workflow involves a one-time, one-click install, and then creating provider accounts to populate our DBAS inventory. The DBAS inventory, or Database as a Service inventory, is the group of databases our developers are going to be allowed to select from. For this demo, we will be adding a CockroachDB provider account. Thanks, Michelle. CockroachDB is now available within the OpenShift container platform for use as a database within your application. I'm going to take you through the setup steps needed on the CockroachDB side of things. Let's take a look. Okay, we want to use CockroachDB within our OpenShift container platform environment. There's a bit of setup needed on the CockroachDB cloud side of things, so let's walk through that now. First thing, you'll need an account. So go to cockroachlabs.cloud and click the sign up link. I'm not going to go through the whole process, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. Either use GitHub or uh, email. There's an email verification step, and then once we've done that, we can log in with the account that we just created. During that process, I have provided the name of an organization. I'm within that organization here now. And at the organization level, I have the ability to create service accounts, which is what I need in order to use uh, the OpenShift container platform to, uh, to pull in CockroachDB into that environment. So let's create a service account. And I'm going to assign admin permissions. Second step is to set up an API key. And I'm not going to uh, hit create here because that will actually reveal the key. But the key, the key to this is that uh, we need to get an API key in order to take that back and use that in the configuration within the OpenShift container platform. So at this point, I'll hit create and uh, that key will be available to me once to copy and then paste into that configuration. And that really concludes the, the steps that you need to take. Um, once you have that key, you're good to go. I should also just mention that um, if you don't see this uh, service accounts tab, uh, we're still in an invite um, only period through the month of April. So the way to get access to service accounts is to just send an email to this address, earlyaccess at cockroachlabs.com. We'll get you set up and you'll be off and running. Welcome back. Let's begin. Please log in to console.redhat.com. Under the home menu, select OpenShift and find your cluster. Open your cluster manager and then take a look at the Add-ons tab. You can select the Rota tile and click Install. It's going to take a few minutes to install, and that's OK. To stop populating our DBAS inventory, we need to add our CockroachDB provider account. Please open your console window, and then go to Installed Operators under the Operators menu. Ensure that you are in the Red Hat DBAS operator namespace so that you can make changes. You'll simply get an error message if you are not in the right namespace. Go ahead and select the OpenShift database access operator and then go to provider accounts to create a new DBAS inventory item. You can have multiple CockroachDB provider accounts, so be sure to give your provider account a good name. Remember, our developers are going to be self-serving, and the name should be meaningful to you and to them. Fill in the name, select CockroachDB from the dropdown, put in the API key, and click Create. When the DBAS inventory item is being created, the credentials you provided will be used to fetch the names of all the instances available to that provider account at that time. And this is what you're seeing here in the completed window. 
You are actually done at this point. Uh, a developer can self-serve, but before you view the developer workflow, I just want to show you some visibility into provider accounts and DBAS inventory items. You can always come back to installed operators, OpenShift database, access operators, provider accounts, or scroll to the bottom of your console menu and explore data services database access for more information on which applications and namespaces are using which provider accounts and databases. You are all done with your admin workflow. Next up will be the Rota developer workflow. In this video, we saw how to configure Rota to set up developer self-service for database credentials and connection information. We also saw how administrators can use Rota to quickly view which applications can connect to which databases. I hope this demonstration has made you curious about Red Hat's OpenShift database access. Thanks for watching.